Hi guys, welcome back to MassiveSynth.com tutorials. Today we're going to be doing the fourth and final instalment of this month's feature, the Growl kind of pitch mod lead feature we've been doing on Native Instruments Massive. And today I was going to show you how to make a riser or uplifter type sound using Massive. And also control the LFO rate and the kind of like little kind of filter suite we had at the end of that rise and stuff. I've got no automation going on in Logic whatsoever apart from a pitch bend. Uh, on the MIDI, the, everything's been done, all of that movement in the sound has been done with Inside Massive using Performer, Stepper and LFO and envelopes and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and create a new sound in Massive and we're just going to be using Sawtooth waves for this sound. So Oscillator 1, I'm going to pitch that down one octave, keep it as a saw all the way to the right on the wave toggle position. I'm actually going to change it to a formant and bring the amp down a little bit and it's going to route to both filters so and actually going to pull the intensity of the formant or the formant shift down to round about just below quarter of the way and then we're going to do a bit of a sweep like that with the sound so round about there oscillator 2 is essentially just going to be beefing up Oscillator once is going to be the same thing, but one octave lower, so minus 24 on the pitch, all the way to the right on the wave table position. So it's just a saw wave we've got there. Four man again. Bring this down here. Yeah, so around quarter of the way, and pull the amp down slightly as well. So next up, let's move over to the filter section and I'm going to use two filters for this sound. So I'm going to put the mix slider in between both filters, turn the volume of filter 2 up and in filter 1 uh, I'm going to have a comb filter and to keep the pitch round about a quarter of the way. Because I notice if you use a comb we've got this pitch feature and we can, can start doing use an envelope to sort of sweep that pitch up so keep the the level at the moment just before quarter of the way up pull the damping down slightly and feedback can stay around halfway and filter 2 I'm going to have a high pass and keep the cut off well push it up slightly so it's kind of pointing it at the C and push the resonance up a little bit so maybe you know two thirds of the way up so we've got the comb and the high pass now. So next up we can set some, we'll go to the voicing section quickly. Just increase the voices to two, make it monophonic and turn the pan position on and just pan out some of those voices. Not fully inverted but just halfway in between mono and fully inverted. So. Take the glide off now. Move back over to the oscillator section. I'm going to turn the pitch bend up to plus 24 here. So that's going to create the sort of the, the pitch rise that we have there. This pitch bend we've got going on here is completely ineffective if that is at zero there. So make sure that's on plus 24. So we can bend up to plus 24 semitones. So let's set some effects in here and then we can start modulating this sound. So first up, Dimension Expander, keep the size around halfway, dry wet around the same. So it's quite a big sort of, giving a big sort of space on the sound. It kind of thickens up the sound a bit as well, the Dimension Expander, really nice effect. I'm going to add some reverb as well. So we're going to modulate some of the parameters on this reverb, but for now let's just bring the dry wet down to just before quarter of the way, keep the size halfway and push the density and colour up to about three quarters of the way. So now let's move over to the amp envelope section and just pull the attack up there so we've got a nice sharp attack on the sound and then let's move over to envelope 1 and this is our modulation envelope. So I'm going to use this to modulate a couple of different parameters and I'll start off with just the four months. So I've got my holding down shift, clicking and dragging the crosshair and dropping it in the intensity boxes of both the oscillators and I'm going to click and drag up. So the bars kind of 
over here now sort of pointing towards it's like three quarters of the way up now and do the same we want similar values on both oscillators so and what I want to do is back off that attack maybe push the sustain up as well so So we get a very slow, gradual kind of rise on these formants here, which is quite nice. Another thing we want to set here is the trigger zero reset, so the envelope re-triggers with each new key. And I wanted to also modulate the pitch of the comb filter and the high pass cutoff frequency with this same envelope. So we're going to do a similar thing again with the pitch and the cutoff frequency. Click and drag up here. So it's pretty much the modulation amount is just before kind of all the way up. So I just push it all the way up and then just bring it back down a little bit. And uh, for the pitch, just click and drag up. So it's hovering around the H, somewhere around there. So now... So now we've got plenty of movement in this riser sound, which is pretty nice. So next up we can set up the first LFO and I'm going to use this LFO to modulate the formants of both the oscillators. So holding down shift, click and drag the crosshair of the first LFO and drop it in the second modulation slot on the intensity of both oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 and now click and drag up and you want a modulation amount of something like that so the green's hitting the T on the intensity. Do a similar thing on oscillator 1 so now it's quite cool we're sort of modulating that format shift it's bringing it up so it's kind of like rising and also we've got an LFO on there as well okay so we want the X fade curve to be all the way at the top so it's just a sine wave what we're using for this LFO and push the rate up slightly so it's just around the T mark Okay, so next we can move over to the second LFO slot and we're going to make this a performer. Click and drag this drop down menu here, select performer and this performer is going to modulate the pitch of the comb filter and also the cutoff frequency of the high pass filter. So holding down shift, click and drag the crosshair, second modulation slot on pitch, second modulation slot on the cutoff frequency of the high pass filter and click and drag up and something around there with the green bar really the modulation amount should be fine and again for the pitch of the comb filter click and drag up so we've got a green bar around about there so now this performer is now affecting these the pitch and the cut off frequency of these two filters so let's sync this performer I'm going to take a ratio down to 2 over 1 and I'm going to load in some curve, well one curve basically, one of those reversed sort of curves and I just want four steps on this performer. So set the performer like that, bring the X fade sequence all the way to the top so it's only this top sequence what's going to be affecting the sound and now we're going to have a very slow, it's going to be quite a delayed effect really on this. So. so we get that kind of like that cut off frequency sweep and that pitch sweep right at the end which with a sequence like this it's happening over nine bars so right at the end of that nine bar sequence on the rise we're getting that kind of sweep which is pretty cool and another thing I wanted to do was modulate the mix of the two filters with this performer so it's going to sweep this pitch is going to sweep up this cut off frequency is going to sweep up but then also the mix slider of the two filters is going to sweep all the way to the high pass so the sounds effectively going to disappear so like that basically which is pretty cool and you know 
something right at the end of that rise before the beat and the bass kicks in the sound disappears and you have that kind of like almost like a moment's silence before everything kicks in again which is quite an effective way of doing things so I'm also actually going to use this performer to modulate the dry wet of the reverb and the size of the reverb okay so holding down shift click and drag the crosshair of this performer drop it in the dry wet first modulation slot on the dry wet slider for the reverb and also first modulation slot for the size of the reverb and just click and drag up I just want a little movement on that size the reverb because that's quite has quite a drastic effect on the sound and then this dry wet click and drag up so this is kind of round about here the modulation amount so the reverb's going to increase the size of the reverb's going to increase and then we're going to get this kind of filter sweep so it's just going to high pass out to no sound whatsoever so <laughs> like that which is pretty cool I mean we could have it more so it just disappears completely by clicking and dragging this mix amount down a little bit more and pushing this cut frequency up a bit more so it just completely high passes the sound but the cool thing about doing it all with inside massive is we don't have to mess around with any automation in logic we've just got it all controlled in here in the stepper it's synced to the beat and stuff and it's just we've got a lot of control of our riser in within massive using it in this way so there's one final thing with the sound and I thought when I was putting it together was it'd be cool if this rate on the LFO could also automatically move and just kind of speed up as the rise went on and I was going to use and thought it'd be quite cool to use a stepper to do this so for the third mod modulation slot click and drag the drop down menu here select stepper going to sync this stepper put a ratio of 1 over 2 and put the activate the snap to grid function here and then what I'm going to do is just increase the steps by 1 on each step so you know 4 5 6 7 8 9 until we get up to 12 and then just have 12 for the last four steps and then what I want to do is modulate the LFO rate here with this stepper so click and drag the crosshair of the stepper drag it in the modulation slot on this LFO rate click and drag up and maybe not all the way to the top but round about there just before it's the top really something like that should be cool so now the LFO rate is going to speed up as the sound goes along so <laughs> So there we have our sound basically, all controlled inside Massive apart from the fact that I've got this pitch bend on, on the MIDI which I could actually use an envelope to control the pitch of these oscillators before it's quite cool to just use that pitch bend and just have more control over the curve of the pitch and stuff like that so there's our sound. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, I hope you found it useful, I hope it's given you some good ideas on how to create your own uplifters and risers inside Massive using the envelopes in LFOs to just kind of modulate them in that way. And yeah, any questions then please get in touch and hope to see you again soon. Cheers, bye.